What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. I do apologize because I haven't been uploading much. It's been really difficult because we've had five straight days of rain. I don't drive the Corvette in crappy weather. There's really no point of making videos when it's really soggy and wet and pouring down. And it's been really difficult to come up with new ideas during the rain to record videos. Actually it's still raining outside but I do have a cool idea for a video. Right now I'm inside of my garage. I got these big spotlights right at me. Kind of dark out here so that I can make this video and upload it and show you guys something really cool about this car. Before I begin today's video, I do want to talk about a few people I've met online through my YouTube channel. They're really great guys. They have their own channels as well. They're all related to cars. We've been inspiring each other, pushing each other, growing together in this online YouTube community. And I do want to give all of these guys a shout out and check out their pages. First person I want to talk about is J-Rock. He has a yellow C7 Corvette just like mine. It's supercharged and he does videos regarding his car and also he does mountain biking videos. It's a really cool channel. The guy is down to earth. I've been talking to him back and forth on my emails and comments and really cool guy. Now another channel I want you guys to check out is Cars and Edits. This dude drives a 2017 yellow Mustang. He's actually been a YouTuber for a while but recently has transitioned to doing only car videos which is really cool but all of his other content prior to this is super sick. As of recent I've been talking to this one guy on YouTube and his channel name is Get Me D on Cars. Now hopefully I'm not butchering the name and he was really specific on how to pronounce the name to the channel but anyway he has a ton of videos all types of cars. He does how to's he does reviews. I mean, his channel is huge. I really love the content that he has, and I think that you will too. Now, if you want to link to all those channels, check out the description. I'll have all the info right there. All right, let's get into the video. What I really want to show you in today's video is the whole heads up display setup, all the gauges, how you can customize them to your own preference. It's, it's pretty cool what you can do in the new Corvettes. It's different than all the other cars. It's pretty futuristic and people, a lot of people don't know about all the options and all the setups that you can do. Now when you get inside the Corvette, you will see something like this, this kind of display. Yours might be a little different depending on how you customized it, but this is just like a default one. Now this car has five different driving modes and those modes are controlled through this little knob that I'm switching here and also the suspension and the way that the car handles adjusts to those driving modes. Now if you go on the bottom and scroll through it, you'll see eco, weather, touring, sport and track. Now in track mode, the display will change completely. It'll look like a race mode and this is the kind of mode that I really drive in. Now you have also the sport mode where it changes the tack and it shows the RPMs. You can also add different uh, miles per hour displays. You can really customize the whole screen. I'll show you that guys later. Now you can go back to eco. This is where becomes more fuel efficient and I don't really care about that but there's different modes that you can go through. Now this is the setup that I use when I drive the car. It shows me my transmission temperature, my engine temperature and the engine PSI. I feel like those three things are really important especially if you know that you're going to push the car hard and you want to get everything up to operating temperature so you don't end up damaging the engine. Now if you scroll down you can actually there's a g-force chart tells you the g-forces this one too. This will tell you the acceleration. Now you can set this from 0 to 30, 0 to 60, 0 to 150, whatever you set it to. Once the car gets to that speed, it will tell you how long it took you to get to that. So you can actually do a 0 to 60 right on the street and it will tell you exactly the 0 to 60 time on the car. Now this is the track times. I don't mess with that. And now this is the oil temperature again, oil pressure, just other gauges, battery voltage, transmission fluid temp. This will actually, right here, this is a really cool feature. This will tell you your tire temperature. And right now they're all cold, but as they get hot, they start turning green and then there's like an orange color and red color to it when they get too hot. It's a really cool feature, especially if you know or want to know that you can get the traction in the rear and not going to want to just spin out. And if you could go down, it goes back to the original screen. Now, if I go to sport mode, this changes a little bit. Now you have the speedo and the tack and everything. Now you can keep going down, and it'll show you the g-forces right here too, the acceleration, the same thing, track times, temperatures, and then you can get the tire temperature on this one too. So you can do a lot of cool things. You can keep going down right here and change the preference. You can do information. So this will tell you your miles per hour and you can change this too. So you can change it to, you can see the trip, fuel economy, fuel range. It actually tells you if the V8 is active or the four cylinder is active but I've actually disabled the four cylinder mode so I don't really care about that and the fuel efficiency so I had my tuner disable that option. 
but let's keep keep going down there and it'll tell you the life of the oil and my oil changes do right now and this is the tire pressure and as you keep going down I mean there's so much information it, it's crazy and also on the actual LCD screen if you use uh, GPS it will tell you it will actually pop up if you wanted to so you don't have to look to the side you look down it will tell you if you have to go left or right and the voice commands and it's, it's really cool with this this whole this whole customization option it's 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 really out of this world it's so high tech and this is the engine hours that the car has and lifetime revs so you can actually see how long the car has been running for now I'm gonna start the car up so I can show you guys the heads up display uh, which is inside the windshield so for me to show you I have to start the car and don't worry about those lamps those are the lamps I've set up so I can get enough lighting for the video all right let's start the car so the car is starting up and it's, it's quite loud right now because I'm probably uh, it's a cold start so let's put it in uh, the sport mode Now let me turn off the headlights so you guys can actually see. There you go. And hopefully it's sharp enough. Do you guys see that? Right there is the heads up display. And you can adjust it to go up and down. You can get, change the brightness on it. So what? see I can move it up and down. I can change what it says. I can change the information on it. So I can make it look like a track. You can do so much, so much stuff to this. And you never have to look down when you drive this car. You literally just look forward, drive. All the information is right in the windshield. And it's in color. It's really sharp. And it's, to me, I mean, this is really high tech. I don't know why, why they don't put this in every sports car. I mean, they do it in BMWs and this Corvette. And I don't know, I'm, I don't know many other cars that do the heads up display. I really don't know why they don't do it. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I was really excited to show you guys this whole setup and how futuristic this car really is. And with the weather being so crappy and I was really limited on the kind of videos that I can make. So I'm stuck inside of my garage and hey, this is the best that I could come up with as of right now. And hopefully this, this kind of gave you guys a lot of new information that you didn't know about. And if it is your first time stopping by, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Guys, I'll see you next time. Take care and be safe.